Oh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, Pulse Motor Build Off. This is a quick update. I'm going to try to keep it short, but I need to inform you of some things. Um, one of them is I still need light bulbs for every light in my house, garage. Anyway, um, so here's the deal I have uploaded the uh, beginning portion of the video that I used, the uh, graphic for the Pulse Motor Build Off, that you guys can or you don't have to use in your. Um, actual video that you're entering in your contest or you can use it anywhere you'd like but basically I've got a link now to where it said links coming soon in all of the different places on the internet that should be filled in now with a link to a folder that folder has three different file types so whatever software you use you can use it there now remember that video doesn't count against your three minutes if you want to use it so you get three minutes and like 25 seconds if you use the intro video for the Pulse Motor Build Off. Okay, so that's it. So we got 12 days left. Um, and don't forget, if you don't get your Pulse Motor finished, it's really okay. Um, a month might be too short for these builds. We might need to go longer next time. I am actually kind of slacking behind, even though I got way too much going on. So I understand. So if you don't get it finished, show what you've done and, the, and enter it. Because I'll be honest, if you bust your butt on this thing, you better believe that is the most important part of what we're doing. Ooh. So, here's the deal. Um, this guy, by the name of Desert Experimenter, um, posted a video, and I'm going to use pieces of his video in this one, because I find it just exactly what we're trying to do, and he makes perfectly good sense of it. So go check it out. Subscribe to his channel. That's Desert, I think it's the, no, I think it's just Desert Experimenter. Check the uh, description, you'll find the links that you need. But good luck to everyone. Don't forget, a three minute video, uh, not including the intro, if you want to enter your video. And uh, make sure you post it on the forums. And I'll also make another update video before this, uh, this is all said and done. But yeah, good luck to you guys. And uh, have fun. I'm having a lot of fun, but woo, what a lot of work. Peace out guys, have a good day. I'll see you around. G'day boys and girls. Cool to hear another video for you. Alright, so if you are not aware yet, and you should all be aware by now though, that the Pulse Motor 2013 is upon us. Now I'm just going to shoot in here quickly and turn off my radio because otherwise YouTube will get upset that I used some audio that wasn't mine. Oh, right, well, what am I doing for the Pulse Motor build off this year? Well, as you can see, we've got half a Tesla coil built. All right, uh, now we are in the final stages of putting this together. We're just waiting on uh, some more parts. So, point being, this isn't a completed project yet. So, I don't have to uh, start again or anything like that. Now, we're going to have a uh, approximately a 20, off the top of my head, I think about a 22 inch coil, 23 inch coil. If I remember correctly, um, oh, got you all with me. Take you around the back here and uh, show you the uh, show you the new bait cave. Um, this is the new uh, the new lab. Uh, crushed dust underneath. My uh, canvas over the top of that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the old man was thinking. We uh, when you did that, and then we got the new, the new grinder over there. That's uh, all the toy I've been working on today. Um, a very, very poor, but uh, works. Um, modified microwave oven transfer. I've got uh, two primaries on there, and this will uh, actually be used in some of the original tests uh, to uh, power the Variac for the uh, for the Tesla coil, so we can test it here at home before we take it out with the generator. Um, but that is, uh, well they're both exactly the same uh, primary coil. Uh, this one has had 90 turns backed off it. Uh, and that put me at about 119 volts. And I was happy with that because that'll give me a little bit of leeway when we load up the transformer for it to drop in voltage a little. And hopefully won't make um, 
won't kill us too much. Uh, we've got all in deep cycles there still. They're going to go in the they're going to go in the back cave there and uh, in the new workshop, the new lab, and they'll uh, they'll power everything in there. So, what exactly is uh, is a Tesla coil got to do with a pulse motor? You might be wondering. Well, just getting back to that. A Tesla coil is a pulsed system. So I'll leave that with you. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to give it too much away. Uh, pe pe people think they know what I'm doing, but honestly, none of you have got any idea what I'm actually up to. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's just something a little fancy and fun. It's uh, it's nothing, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be uh, not be breaking out some new free energy device or anything, you know. So, no no biggies there, guys. Um, just going to have a bit of fun. I, I honestly, and I, and I said this with the last Pulse Motor build-off, is to me, this event is all about camaraderie. It's about bringing all the guys from all the different forums all together in one place at one time, you know, so we can get to know each other and, uh, you know, hopefully strike up a few new friendships and, and some more people that we can work with over the coming year. And for new people, now, this year there is two categories. There is, you know, the, the advanced category for, 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 the, for the boys who know exactly what they're doing and there's the, uh, you know, the, the, the beginners category for those, you know, because oh, I have pushed myself as as many of you know you know for new people to come and get involved in this project you know seriously at the uh, international alternative energy center there is hundreds of people there and although they're all building their own pulse motors for this for this competition believe me not a single one of them is going to hold back information on on the basis you know that they want to want to try and beat you your build's going to be totally different to theirs and that you know, our, our, our guys over there, and, and I'm, I've not spent a lot of time over at Russ's forum, but I'm pretty sure with uh, the demeanour of Russ that, you know, he's got something very similar going on with his guys over there. That, you know, we don't, we don't like bagging people out. We don't like, uh, you know, this, you know, oh, you know, can't work like that, blah, 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 and carrying on, you know. I've come up with some pretty whack ideas over the years. And uh, no one's ever, no one's ever told me, you know, that I'm a, that I'm a fool and that my ideas aren't going to work. We always say, try it, see what's going to happen, you know. And this year with this Pulse Motor build-off competition, it's a perfect opportunity for your newbies to come and get involved. You never know, you might win yourself some freaking good prizes because those, uh, all them prizes are split up between the two categories. You know, you don't have the have the best equipment only going to the to the uh, to the professional builders. It, so that price pool is split down the guts. So you know there is a set of glasses for the for the beginners and a set of glasses for the uh, for the professionals, etc. And you know, I really urge you all to come and come and get involved. I had a had a young fella last night contact me and uh, asked me a couple of things about the pulse motor and how it worked. More than happy to explain it, mate. You know, I'm I'm building a Tesla coil version, so you know you're not going to be doing what I'm doing. I don't, you know, I don't I don't, I, I don't care if I win. You know, at the end of the day, this is fun. Well, I'm, what I'm going to show you guys, you're going to go, cool! So, yeah, and that's what it's all about. So the other people on YouTube go, whoa, look at that thing, man! And they'll go, what's this, what's this international alternative energy? What? Oh! And they get involved, and they start building their own things. You know, and before we know it, a lot of thousand people are on board trying to get this project going. So, guys, have fun, get out there, and as both uh, Russ and Tin Man have both pointed out. Doesn't even matter if you haven't, especially for you beginners. If you're, uh, if you're, uh, if, if you've, you know, busted your ass all the way through this and, and you get to the end and, you know, you got two hours left and, and there's no way you're going to ever complete your motor, use that two hours to write down and explain exactly. Or do a video like this, three minutes. Remember, you only get three minutes. Um, uh, and do a video and explain exactly what you were aiming for and how you hoped that you were going to get there. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, one thing we all face doing this work is finances and, and, and equipment. And that's why a lot of this, you know, like, truth. Have you seen the trash I've got around here, guys? Like, you know, right, even my tools are all second here. I found that toolbox on the side of the road one day and just started filling it up with new bits and pieces. Look, this is like Russ. Uh, reclaimed copper wire from TVs. Um, 
just random clips and odds and sods. Capacitors from microwave ovens, heat sinks, uh, massive bloody tub of capacitors, some coils down in there, some more coils on ferrites and whatnot down there, you know, um, more coils, some uh, synchronous motors, uh, just more random crap, more random crap. Oh, random crap, crap, crap everywhere. It's random crap. Alright, and this is, you know, there's my uh, little Ed Gray power tube I made up the other week. You know, you, uh, you just start storing this crap away, you know, and it's a case of, well, when you need it, you need it, and it'll be there for you. A few more little drawers and stuff up there. Huh? Some stuff is purchased. Some stuff is donated, like like these breadboards were donated to me with a whole pile of other bits and pieces to go with the uh, with the entire other Tesla coil build. So I, I'm extremely lucky in that in that respect. I've, I've got a very good friend who uh, who does help out quite a lot, and uh, you know without without that particular person, things wouldn't uh, go as fast as they do around here. But you know you can uh, you can make do. I mean we're waiting on the generator at the moment. To, uh, to power that Fairyac, because that Fairyac is 110 volt. I live, in, I live in Australia, it's 240 volts. So what did I do? 240 to 110 volt transformer. You know, you just gotta be creative with what you've got. So, as I say, if you're nearly, if you're nearly finished, but you know, you, you just haven't got the last bit to go in it, or you, you know, you just don't have the time, whatever. Who cares? Jump on, jump on your cam. Make a video, explain exactly where you were going and what you were trying to achieve, and you never know. There's some pretty interesting judges this year, and they might just start nattering between themselves that, you know, although you didn't finish, you had some fantastic ideas and it'd be amazing to see what you could do. And that might just get you a prize. So anyway, this video's gone on long enough, let me let we're recording bloody 10 minutes already, haven't we? Yep. All right, so that's that, that's that, guys. All right, you all take care. Good luck in the Pulse Motor competition. I, I really hope to see see some new faces get up there and uh, show the boys some, some, some new tricks. And, uh, you know, it'd be really interesting to see what you all can, can uh, come up with this year. But anyhow, you all take care. Be safe and uh, enjoy the competition. We'll see you soon.